in vCenter, whenever you go to a particular machine, I have this is a Red Hat 8 uh, machine, you can launch it in two modes, Web Console, which is, you know, like a big section of, of this, right? And you have the basic utilities here, more options here. I mean, this is standard Red Hat stuff. Or you can also launch it with this launch remote console. Now, which I already had it in here. What what's that? What are the advantages of the of the remote console? The main one is that you can do copy paste. In my view, it's a larger browser display, maybe has a bigger resolution, or but. Uh, and you need to download a client in your machine. In my case, I'm using a Mac, so I download it. And this is this icon that you see here. When you click on that link, it downloads that program that is launched automatically when you click in there. That's step number one. That is not all you need to do. You also need to install VMware network tools okay and you do that by issuing this command sudo yum install open VMware vm dash tools dash net net uh, that desktop rather you put the password and in my case because I already install it it's going to tell you that that there's nothing to be to be done, right? So in my case, because I already installed it, then it says that is I no longer need to do it. Now you need to do this for every VM that you want to do copy paste with. And in in, the, in my case, in the case of OpenShift, I would only do it from the install node. I don't need it for the other ones. Uh, now, for security reasons copy paste is by default disabled in uh, ESXi. Rather than doing it for every VM, there is a way of doing it in ESXi to basically enable copy paste for all the machines. You need to SSH and modify a file inside ESXi to do so. To SSH in it, you actually need to right click on it and enable SSH, right? Which I already did. So now that means that I can open a terminal and I can SSH as root at 192.168.2.200. And I just learned another thing. SSH is automatically disabled when you reboot the host adapter for security reasons, obviously. So you need to go back there and do enable. Notice that now it has the option to disable. And I, before I have the option to enable, it's because it automatically disabled it. Once I click there, I SSH into it and I was able to load, I'm, I'm able to present the password. So I'm in. We need to move into Etsy or ETC VMware and in here we need to edit a file called config and as you see I added you do insert you know standard VA stuff BI stuff and I added these two lines Isolation, the tools, copy, disable, equal, false, because the default is true. And same for paste. Uh, that's enable copy, paste. For security reason, if you're using this in any environment that is not a demo environment, or when you're done with it, it might be good for you to set these two parameters back to, uh, but back to true or delete the lines, whatever you prefer. Do write and quit, and that will disable copy, paste. Now that we have VMware tools installed on the host and we have these parameters set up, 
we can actually go into the install node, which is the machine that we installed that uh, adapter, and launch the remote console, this option here. And that brings me over here. It's the same interface that we saw before, but before was from the web console. This, has, as you see, has a higher resolution, and again, copy-paste is what I really wanted. Now, to prove that this actually works, let me go into Red Hat and open a, a, a notepad type of thing, a text editor. I'm going to grab from my clipboard outside the machine. This is my physical machine outside this ESXi. For example, this, uh, this IP address. And I'm going to paste it in here. So if I right click and hit paste, you see it there. So copy paste works. Uh, for me, it's essential to, to do the configuration of all these machines. Uh, I feel crippled if I don't have that capability and it's prone to make a lot of errors. So that concludes this video. In the next one, we're going to be doing the installation of the virtual PSMs to accomplish what we wanted, which is I want all the VMs we're going to use this one that we have that Red Hat the installed node. I wanted to, based on the MAC address that it has, get always a specific uh, IP address. It's, going to, it's not going to change, even though it is provided by the by the DHCP server. That's that's essential in order to be able to get um, the rest of the OpenShift environment properly set up.